And so welcome back. Hello everybody. Uh, so I've just pushed every of these changes up to Git. Took quite a while because there's so much data that's going on. And now that uh, that's done, now I want to continue the simulation. Uh, probably with more time step. Yeah. So I'm going to VI system control dict. I will make the time step 100 times bigger. Then maybe I'll simulate it to 100 seconds, right interval. I'll just put 20 instead of 1 because maybe it's going to be yeah, taking a lot of time. So without further ado, I'll just start with a bigger time step. And I'll run I go form. So it's gonna start straight from 0 0.5 because it starts at the latest time. And it goes straight to one second. Current number is at 0 0.02 ish, 0 0.017 or 0 0.02, the max one. So we just give it some time to run. Uh, as long as again this does not exceed one, uh, you're generally more or less in the safe zone. So again, fast forward. And now this is done, and we look at this. The current number is very low, which is excellent news. So let's delete the old pieces. Hopefully now we can see some sort of pro flow profile forming. Right. Delete. It's probably lagging. Yep, it's lagging. All right, whichever. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm going to apply this on the snappy pipe dot phone. Then I'm going to put a filter, slice, apply. So I'm going to see you. I'm going to positive. Yes. Mm -hmm. And rescale. And let's zoom in on this part. Okay. So I'm going to play. Okay, so basically, it's a. Uh, it went really quickly because it goes by the ten seconds. So at zero point five, it's like that. Ten seconds later, it's like that. So let's use this. All right. So uh, you can see some sort of a boundary layer kind of a forming up, and. Let's rescale. Yeah, so you see that boundary layer actually forming a little bit up there. Center flow is gonna go faster, which is uh, should be the case. And that is uh, pretty much it for pipe flow. Of course, we can let the simulation run longer. Maybe like what ten thousand seconds to uh, allow us to see where this uh, where this is going. Yep, you can see the the thing slowing down a lot. Yep, it used to be very fast near the surface. Now the surface is uh, slowing down as uh, time progresses. You can see it's getting more and more blue, bluish color. So the speed is reducing. We see some boundary layer kind of forming. All right. So this is good. You can just put a git add. And 
git commit the message uh, bl forming hmm. stop at 100.5 seconds It's much faster. So I was going to just upload and yeah we can just uh, run this uh, ICO form for a lot longer maybe to 10,000 seconds um, we'll probably run it in the background mm, there shouldn't be a problem then probably uh, you can fast forward maybe learn something else yep uh, discuss something else in fact so Anyway, the GitHub uh, description will, can be put in the link. I will just VI uh, system control it. Let's put to 10,000 seconds. Let's put right interval at 2,000. Same time step 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, I go form. So I'm just going to save this to a log and I'm going to run it in parallel. Okay. So this end kind of puts it in parallel so I can like do other stuff. And I can save this again to the run folder. Or I can rename, rename the run folder into run pre okay uh, we can call this mesh gen generation so I call this mesh generation and then mm, I'm gonna make a new one called run I'll just call it uh, ICO foam So this just runs I go foam for us. So now we can do ch ch mod seven five five. Right. Yep. So now this becomes a script file. So we have one for mesh generation, one one to run as per normal. Right. So. We just stop here. Uh, hopefully, when this thing is finished, uh, we will be able to see what uh, what uh, what do you call it? Yeah, what uh, what results we have from this uh, development of the flow. So, if you want to see, of course, you can go and see the ICO form log, and then it starts to solve to about 105 seconds. So it's probably going to take a very long time. No worries about that. Mm -hmm. And then I'll stop the video here because this is more or less uh, what we can learn from Pipeflow. I'm just running it longer so that we can uh, sort of uh, get an idea of what the fully developed flow would look like. Of course, it will take it will probably take a very long while for this flow to fully develop. Alright, uh, appreciate your watching, appreciate your patience. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe we can talk about uh, some other different geometries or we can talk about turbulent flow even. So, let's stop here and I'll see you guys next time.